talk about becoming a goddess or a god, if you will. And before I was going to make this video, a voice, intrusive thoughts come into my head and say, how are you going to make a video about this when you're not wearing any makeup, your hair's not done, you're wearing your son's Jimi Hendrix shirt, <laughs> about to go on a walk. And that's where I had to come in as a higher self and be like, this has nothing to do with my outward appearance, okay? This is a vibrational frequency that we carry within, despite what we look like, even though we look amazing anyway, just like you, without your makeup, <laughs> okay? I held a spirit guide masterclass the other day and I was explaining that all spirit guides are you, okay? They are a different reflection of your personality, your identity, as why you are attracted to certain beings, but everything is you. Plants, animals, trees, rocks. The way it works with spirit guides is there's a whole collective of people who are putting energy and attention into them and so it gives birth to their consciousness and their abilities and their personas <laughs> and the more attention and energy that people put on them the stronger that they get and the narrative grows and the story about them and in their life force energy and the whole point of spirituality is to help wake you up to that esoteric knowledge that hey this is just you okay <laughs> you're in your own reality paradigm and however you feel internally is what is reflected outside of you externally so you can also be a spirit guide to yourself or to other people even in this human incarnation but we forget that because of distortions and trauma and the internal matrices we get caught up into and narratives and the 3D paradigm. This morning I was in the shower and okay well, let me back it up a little bit. So last week me and my cosmic community members did a light language activation with one another and I was saying the collective higher self while we're in meditation together <laughs> asked everybody to think of a word that they wanted to exemplify or theme if you will of 2024 moving forward so you can think of a word for yourself that you want to encapsulate the energy to move forward with this year and I had done this in my own personal life before we had gone to meditation and my word was opulence <laughs> that is what I am encapsulating in 2024 and uh, there's a video on tube by Brian Scott and it's called the opulence upgrade Highly recommend listening to that today, okay? It will activate something within you. And the word opulence to me just means so much abundance of wealth that is overflowing and that you can share with others. This is not living in scarcity and lack. This is not saying like, oh, I have everything that I need. No, this is having a plethora of what you need, okay? This is being okay with that. This is where everybody in the world to have a plethora of everything that they need. And then we overspill onto others. It's really being okay with receiving exuberant amounts of prosperity and abundance and wealth and not in a negative way because we're all impasse and light workers, okay? If I had a billion dollars in the bank, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna help as many people as I can because that's my natural state of being. <laughs> like, I love seeing people thrive and joyous and happy and laughing and just really enjoying their human experience. So that would only exemplify, amplify my want to do those things. Opulence isn't just finance. It's health, wealth, beauty, everything. Okay. And that's why I was saying even with no makeup on today in my son's t-shirt, like I can still radiate opulence. And then I was in the shower this morning about to that. And I was thinking, you know what? I have recognized the goddess within myself, the creator, right? The priestess. And I said, what do I want to be the goddess of? Because <laughs> there's so many different beings that have these different, you know, personas. And I said, I want to be the goddess of opulence. And I had never heard of that before. But then I went on Google and then I found that there were some, like, Lakshmi is considered the goddess of opulence, even though I haven't heard that about her before. But then there's some other beings as well. I was like, well, I can be a goddess of opulence as well. And I I can make it my mission to help other people learn how to carry that type of energy about them. I was like, what's stopping me declaring that, right? <laughs> Is that the fear of what other people are going to think? Like hearing that? Who cares? Like if I told my soul tribe members that, which I'm going to, like, hey, I decided I'm going to be the god of some opulence. They'll be like, wow, that's so amazing. <laughs> Maybe I should claim a word about myself like that and remember that goddess or that god within. And I challenge you to do that today. Like, what do you want to be the god or goddess of in 2024? And let me know in the comments and if this resonated with you.